This week's breeding focus is the Australian cowpea. Oh, I think you got me lips. And we are joined by Jenna, Chloe, Balto, Four, and Kev. I'm not sure you'll see them all up here all the time. From Peacock's Kelpie Stud. Bred for herding, they are Australia's most popular working dog and thrive when they're working on the land. I've always had a soft spot for Kelpie. They're extremely loyal and devoted to their family. They're affectionate, as you can see, and friendly. They're great with children and other dogs and even cats if they're raised with them from puppyhood. But don't be surprised if they hurt other pets and even the children, because they just don't seem to be able to shake that habit. No, Darcy's always being herded by Kelpies. <laughs> they are a tough and tireless working dog with extremely high energy levels and aren't well suited for suburban living, unless you're highly committed to channeling their energy and desire to work and into suitable activities. They are highly trainable and very alert, eager to learn, and so they excel at obedience, herding, agility, and many other dog sports. In fact, any Kelpie owner in suburbia should consider doing any one of these sports regularly with their dog on top of vigorous daily exercise. Absolutely. I mean, Kelpies can run up to 60 kilometres a day when they're working, so it's crucial oh. that they have plenty of exercise to meet their mental and physical needs. If not, they'll become bored and frustrated and they'll just start to exhibit some serious behavioural problems. Yeah, that they will. So you might be surprised to learn that they have a double coat with short, dense undercoat and a weather repellent top coat, don't you guys? Very nice. And they come in a mix of colours from black to red with bits of tan and more. Oh yes, they do shed a lot though, so a weekly brush is a good idea. And lots of kisses. Kelpies are regarded as a very healthy breed and they can live up to 16 years. They can be prone to hip and elbow dysplasia. Lux patellas or kneecaps, mm -hmm. progressive retinal atrophy and a degenerative brain disease of the cerebellum. You can stay up here. That's not nice. <laughs> There's certainly a breed though that you need to consider very carefully to ensure that you are able to meet their high drive needs. We cannot stress how important this is. Absolutely. And there are places that you can take them to to mm. do their job, their herding job. That's right. All around Australia. So make sure if you get one that you really do consider this. Thanks guys, send them with one. Just you, but you'll do, yes. <laughs> to learn how HIF pet insurance can help your pet in times of need, visit hif.com.au.